Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's Daily Dose of Tarot we are going to check into the 14th of uh, July 2022 <clears throat> and uh, if you are interested into having a personal reading with me or if you do want to take uh, my classes checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either of my services so with that said, uh, let's do the cut and uh, see what we have for the day right so the first card uh, that we do have for the day that is going to be the nine of uh, cups followed by the second card of the day that stands for the six of swords and uh, the final card that we do have uh, that will be the three of pentacles so this is how the elemental dignity uh, actually stands yeah, we do have a passive neutrals, passive friends, uh, six of cups, uh, uh, nine of cups, six of swords, three of pentacles. Right off the back with uh, these three cards, we can see that uh, in this day particularly, we ain't going to be that eager to throw ourselves into uh, into performance and into in generally initiating uh, stuff and enterprises which are going out of our way. Now, I'm not saying that that is going to be unseen. There will be definitely those of us who will have to do stuff which goes out of their way. And the experience is not going to be bad in any means. It is just throughout that particular day what we would prefer to do uh, observing the nine of cups and the three of uh, pentacles right over there it's <clears throat> it's a uh, it, it's more of a i can't really say sustenance it's more like a continuation of our already current enterprises so if i have to give you an, an example uh, we would prefer to spend, for example, time with friends we already have rather than to try and befriend other people. But if we have to go and befriend other people, we also are going to have more or less a successful experience. And this lack of eagerness to, to throw ourselves into new enterprises come from the Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords. <clears throat> this is a passive neutrals and uh, it's it more like a what's... Uh, uh, it, it's stunning. It's like what's the reason to try and kind of put more stuff on my plate while I already have stuff on my plate that I can improve, that I can be happy with that I can <clears throat> find the sensual joy uh, joy into them. And I do believe that we are talking about a human interactions here as the Three of Pentacles stands. This is because Three of Pentacles, it's related to a, um, a fruitful cooperations as well, a fruitful discussions support. This is a, an amazing day where we can seek support for, oh my God, a fly where we can see that uh, we can where we can seek a support for our projects for our enterprises for our endeavors it's very very possible that we are going to find that support if you do need for example someone to give you a shoulder to move forward with your hobby and transforming it into business very likely that that's the day where you're going to find such a person however this support is not going to come without um its fair share of um, mentorship, and when I say mentorship, I mean it figuratively. It is because uh, uh, today the affinity of those who are more skilled or more experienced than others will be a mentorship through criticism. In other words, the one who supports you into your hobby and wishes you to see improving and excelling in your hobby. It's going to criticize you rather severely what you're doing wrong, how wrong you're doing it. And, you know, are you blind not to see how you should do it right? I'm saying that because uh, for people 
uh, people handle criticism in different way. Uh, there are those who are taking it more personally than others. And there is nothing personal in, in these cards. It's just that, that individual who is to support you either in your marriage or into your career uh, or into your hobby business, etc. They just want you not to make the same mistake twice. And that's why they're doing it rough through the criticism. So you are to be afraid to make the same mistake twice. That's, that's the whole reason, not because they hate you or because they, they think they are more than you are. Uh, it's a, a great day as well to clear out misunderstandings within business partnerships and within a intimate partnerships. But for that reason, the criticism needs to kick in as well. So yeah, today is the day where you should criticize your uh, your partner but these critics needs to be or that criticism needs to be a constructive criticism just to give you an example saying you suck it's not a constructive criticism constructive criticism it is when you say what the other person is doing it wrong and then you make a suggestion which is tangible suggestion Okay, which, which is something that actually is going to help and it's something that you can, you yourself can and you are prepared to do. That is a, a constructive criticism. So the, big, the biggest thing which I save for last for that particular day is that you should know that there are many ways to reach a goal. And yeah, at, at today's day, you may see a better way or rather like a more appealing way to reach your goal. Nonetheless, you are on one of these ways, regardless, are you going to take that appealing way or not? And uh, the, best, uh, the best way how we can uh, have the best day ever or we can transform this day to be a good day is by turning inwards and instead of looking for something new on our plate to sustain what we already have on our plate that is how the nine of cups works it is basically people say nine of cups is wish coming true actually that is true but this is just the 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 tip of the iceberg with the nine of cups is because wishes coming true under the energy of the knights of cups that is actually the easy part that is pretty much almost given but sustaining that to become from a short-term happiness into a long-lasting one well that's the challenge the real challenge from the nine of cups that is what we should think about today because if you have a, a dream to be with a specific person that dream can happen right but how long you can be with that person that's the question and that is something that we should think about today how those aspects of our lives which happen to be a dream of ours what we can do to sustain them especially if those dreams are connected with other people and that is pretty much the uh the daily tarot reading hopefully guys you do enjoyed it and you do liked it and uh we may see each other another time until then bye